new club and live music venue Amber's to open in Manchester. Finally, loads of clubs are closing across the country. I think I saw a figure last time was super high number of nightclubs closures, right? The number was crazy high on a recent article I saw. Let's see if it, if it's the same one. Um, oh my God, look at that. The number of nightclubs closing in the UK is alarming, with some saying the sector is facing an unprecedented crisis. London, between March 2020 and December 2023, 1,165 nightclubs closed in London. Are you having a laugh? In the UK, between March and December 2023, 35% um, of independent nightclubs closed. An overall number of nightclubs decreased by 32%. 2024 in the uk losing five nightclubs per week this is basically amy lammy's and sadiq khan's legacy you know sadiq khan's legacy is knife crime you know and amy lammy's legacy as a night czar is definitely record numbers of clubs in london only by the way march 2020 to december 2023 1165 nightclubs closed for this absolutely shocking so it is good to see at last the tide is being turned and we are having some clubs opening. For me, the capacity is a bit too much. I like my clubs to be between like, let's say 250 to 700. You know, 1,000 capacity isn't 2,000, I know. But, you know, to foster a community and all that malarkey, 1,000 is a lot. It's a lot of people, you know. And 1,000 capacity means you're going to have to most likely book a lot of people you won't want to book. Because you know they sell tickets, right? You're going to have to do some things that you probably wouldn't want to do to get people through the door. Which, again, you know, and again, who knows? I'm talking out of turn here. They could actually end up smashing it, which I would love to see. Um, and it could be a destination that I could travel to as well. That'd be fucking cool. So I'm not just raving at the same fucking tired places in London I have all the time. But let's see what it says here, courtesy of RA. It's due to open on December 5th. So it's not even open yet. Wow great okay that's good to know still in the works loads of things going on there i love the design already a new venue is opening up in manchester located on oxford road ambers is a two-room 1000 capacity um space that features an l acoustic sound system custom lighting spec it will host club and live music events with a launch party taking place december 5th all items to the venue first announced first season will be unannounced oh i like that i like that effect as well let's let's not announce the lineups create some mystery and demand Manchester's a weird place though, because I want to go. I've heard some good things about that place called White Hotel. They do some good nights there. Those two girls, um, what are their names? Um, Basha and Alat or something, right? Those girls who are killing at the scene at the moment. I think they're from there. I think so anyway. I see them doing a lot of nights over there too. So they're obviously killing it. But I'd love to go and rave there. But last time I spoke about it on here, somebody said, oh, White Hotel isn't that great. Other people saying it's fucking amazing, but based on the pictures and the videos that I've seen on the inside, I think I saw a clip of even like LSDXO playing there one time. It looks fucking sick. It looks fucking cool, but a lot of people, I don't know, it may be about spoiled or maybe it is terrible. I don't know, but um, it's good that they got another option there as well. For those of the people who don't like places like White Hotel, it continues. It says the team behind Amber's, including Jeremy and Lawrence Abbott of Creative for Creative Content and Design Agency, Nothing Forced, La Discotech Orchestra founder Sam Turnstein and Rince Resident Hutch. Oh, so a lot of heads, a lot of crewed up individuals there. Okay, good to see. It's in good hands. At Amber's, we want the music, sound, and vibe to reason you come back, said Hutch. We aim to bring some of the best artists in the world to our club to play at an affordable price point with a focus on brilliant music and sound every single week. I love that already. I love that already. That's, that might sound like what they do at, is it Bergen or I don't know what other clubs they do at where they have like a set fee, they pay everybody. And the idea is that you want to play there because you love the club, you love the community, you love the scene, you love the people that go and rave there. And that will foster a cool community and also allow you to have way more interesting lineups because people that probably don't pay for that sort of fee will play for that sort of fee because they love your club. I love that. I love that angle. Instead of going for, oh, we're going to book all the best people and pay their fee. And it's like, ooh. Um, you got some pictures of the inside. Ooh, I love that. It's a downstairs club as well. It's a basement club. Oh, I love a good basement club. It's a feeling of transportation, isn't it? You're being transported to another world. That's why Bergheim kind of works. Even though the Bergheim main floor is on like floor one or floor two, you have to walk up really high stairs. I feel like the the physical nature of like walking up the stairs, walking down the stairs does something to you. You get transported into another world. 
Um, big up Alibi. That f- my favorite club in Alib in fucking Dawson back in the day. That's why I, that used to be such a great dive bar because you go downstairs and it kind of felt like you're going into a little hole in the wall, a little kind of speakeasy, you know, something that you're not meant to be in and stuff. So I fucking love that. I'm not mad at that in the slightest. Obviously, nice exposed brick there, so you can see all the wall piss kind of trickling down. You'd love to see it. I'm definitely gonna be holding onto that wall you know swimming in some sort of k-hole trying to come to my senses at some point in the future for sure um scrolling down you got more images of the stair railings and shit you've got images of the side panels and walls is that wood maybe that helps with the sound oh there's also a curtain i like that like you know how you go into like a um what, what's that place called is it a butchers or whatever um and they've got those kind of curtains i like that that kind of adds a little bit of an animalistic raw abusive you know, fun type of vibe, right? Someone might bite your penis. Someone might bite your finger. They might bite your ankle. Um, and obviously the wood on the side of the walls might be for acoustics as well to make sure that it's nice and warm on the inside when you're in there. Let's check the site out. Um, there's no more details about it though. That's it. Even though it's open December 5th, there's not, not a lot of details about the sound system, what they're going to do. But I do like the design of it. I like where the booth is looks nice and open look the booth looks like you could walk behind it even if you weren't djing which i like as well it creates like a nice kind of like you're kind of um i mentioned before that was that club in um sao paulo that um moshak opened where the dj booth is literally in the middle of the dance floor but it's surrounded by like a barrier so you can kind of you know all the people can be on top of it and DJs can still have space to come and do their thing but you're kind of on top of them i kind of like that instead of it being elevated or behind some massive wall um the website itself what's it have on a website you've got reservation here connection on the screen euphoria on the screen you've got okay just got like a mailing listing but no details so far of what it's going to be like but yeah december 5th opening a new club in manchester called ambers big up the team behind it i'll definitely be checking it out when it does eventually open big up them